Uh, hi, my name is Vinay, and in this video, I will show how you can uh, call a WinSpice simulator uh, from DSCS software. Okay, so here is I have an icon for DSCS. I just open the DSCS, and as you know, in the DSCS program, you can create various kind of circuits, be it analog or digital, and you can simulate it. It has an in-house pattern-based simulator with the help of which you can simulate various kind of digital circuit and see the timing diagram. Right now I'm constructing a simple inverter and joining the signals to it. Okay. And uh, I just extend this. Okay. So here you see that there's a simple inverter. Now I try to simulate this. So I can simulate this in-house simulator which is on screen pattern based simulator and I can see that yes which circuits or the transistors are on and off and the flow of current to the LED. Now I can see the timing diagram and I can see the way I have applied the input and see the plot. But this is a pattern based simulator and that's why you see only the timing diagram. Now if you wish to see the spice simulation of it and uh, see the analog behavior or the transient analysis. So for that purpose first of all I just save the file somewhere on the desktop let's say inverter uh, maybe demo and you have to ensure that wherever you are storing this file the file should not the file location should not have any spaces in between I mean, it should not have any space character in between the file path okay so I just save it on the desktop so here you can see that there is no spaces in the file path now I go to file and click on generate spice file so it will convert this entire schematic into an spice file format which I can simulate using a third party simulator which is called as WinSpice okay. so I select transit analysis and let's say I set it to around 50 nanosecond okay duration and when I click on run WinSpice the DSC sees that it is not being installed and I cannot locate the WinSpice now as I'm doing for the first time, that's why he's not able to find the wind spice. So I just say OK. So he will open a dialog box and he will ask me for the location of the wind spice install program. So I installed the wind spice in my C program files location. Instec wind spice. So it might be different in your case. So you have to just identify where you have installed the wind spice. So here is my WinSpice application, which is the main application to call to execute. I just say open. Now the WinSpice location has been given to DSCX. Now when I click on when run WinSpice, so here you can see that yes, it calls it and give me an error. That is because there is some issue in my sizing of the transcripts. So I just specify the sizing as 0.12 micrometer and 1 micro as the width. So I specify the width as 1 micrometer and 1 to micrometer, 120 micro nanometer as the length of the transfer. Now I click file, generate spice file. And now when I click run the spice, so he calls the spice simulation and I can see the behavior output of the transient response. Okay, so you can just zoom in in a particular area and he will uh, zoom in on the result. Okay, now that is the first stage. Now maybe you can change something to the circuit. For example, you can add a small capacitor at the output. And I just join this node. So this one picofarad, I, I just make it something smaller. Let's say 0. Uh, 0.4 picofarad. Okay, I add an output capacitive load and click again generate spice file run run spice <clears throat> so here you can see the response of the inverter in reference with the load added to it so here you can see that this is not uh, able to charge in this house so okay that's a separate issue okay so here this is how you do it so in case you are not able to save the path, so then you have to run the DSH program as admin rights. Okay. In that case, you will be able to store the location of the spice. Okay. Thank you very much.